Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angelica. Um, if this is your first time here, thank you so much. Um, so today we're actually going to be doing something a lot different um, than what we've done in the past. Normally I'm sitting over here kind of just chilling out, showing you some stuff. Um, today I decided to actually give you a glimpse into one of my closets. I think I'll also give some footage of another closet. Um, so I have two closets. Lucky enough to have that in the house that I live in right now. Um, and <laughs> and I use them for different purposes. So basically, um, this closet that I'm about to show you right now is full of my new stuff and then also dresses. So this is dedicated pretty much entirely to different forms of dresses, uh, both like formal occasions, a lot of primarily casual stuff, um, and then also even my wedding dresses in here. Um, so we have a bunch of stuff. And um, then in the other closet that's actually much bigger that I share with my husband, but it's a much longer closet with like a full walk-in like full door um, I have kimonos sweaters and then all of my tops so there's different purposes um, and it's so awesome that I am lucky enough to be able to break it up that way it's a lot easier for me to manage and especially because obviously I take a lot of Instagram pictures I take pretty much a picture for every single day of the year um, so I have to have a lot of different outfits coming in and out at all times um, I tend to donate a lot of clothes to Goodwill um, sometimes sell them to like Plato's Closet and stuff even though they give like 50 cents so <laughs> there's almost no point in doing that um, but then I'm also kind of a pack rat when it comes to clothes so I do tend to keep a lot of this stuff as well to be perfectly honest um, so it's kind of funny with my closet because this one is a traditional closet so it just has like two sliding doors um, I tend to gravitate towards this side actually the most um, and then the other side doesn't get as much love so I don't wear that stuff as often unfortunately I try to remember though it's usually like I try to keep it top of mind but then when I'm in a rush in the morning normally I just like gravitate this one's normally open anyway so I'm like okay what am I gonna wear and then I just pull out a dress from here so it tends to have some of my favorite stuff um though it's kind of funny I don't really have any favorite stuff like I can think of like three dresses that are my favorites that I wear pretty often um but otherwise I actually for the most part wear most of my stuff like only once or twice and then kind of push it aside for something new but again it's kind of hard because if I want to put a new thing up on Instagram it's just like really really hard to wear the same thing again um, so anyway I'm gonna show you some of this stuff specifically around what I might be wearing this spring um, stuff that I'm really enjoying so if you want to see then stick around okay so to start um, I love florals so some of the stuff I actually have shared in some hauls before um, but this is something that I got from Nordstrom Rack um, it's a dress with a deep v-neck and this is the kind of stuff that I plan on wearing with big chunky necklaces probably keeping booties in so I do not think that booties are only like a fall and winter thing I think that they're very much um, accessible and functional for spring and summer as well especially when you're wearing a bare leg with it or even just some sheer stockings um, something that I tend to do is wear stockings to give myself more color um, so I am not into tanning or self tanning um, and so normally what I do is I put bronzer in my face and stockings on my legs and then I get a suntan look and I don't have to bother with any of the streakiness, the money, um, the awkwardness at a suntanning salon. Um, so, and of course cancer from the sun. So <laughs> I'd rather buy stockings. So I'm, I'm not ashamed at all. Um, I get the old fashioned, like the grandmas and like the, uh, you know, supermarket ladies back in the fifties, the legs, like L apostrophe E G G S legs. <laughs> um, I probably like single hand keep this company in business they should totally sponsor me because I buy so many of these I get these are in nude with a reinforced toe um, but I usually get the suntan one when they have it available but obviously like I mean you can get stockings pretty much anywhere and you can certainly get them on Amazon and stuff but it's actually kind of hard to find them because obviously they're seen as something that old ladies wear but I'm not that old and I wear stockings with everything okay. so moving forward now that I told you my secret <laughs> um, here are a couple other dresses I got these at Charlotte Russe um, I've worn them for some pictures but for the most part I have not actually worn them out on the town or to work or anything um, so I plan on wearing these in the springtime I also plan on wearing raw 
rompers. So rompers are kind of a weird thing. Um, this romper is from, I believe they're called Exo Mandy Sue, um, and they gave me a discount code. Um, I think if you want to use it, I don't even know if it's still like in business, but it's Angelica 60 or Angelica 40. I don't know. Try it. Um, but anyway, I got this romper for a really awesome deal because of that. Um, and this is a size medium. It's pretty sheer. I think the bottom part is lined. Um, I don't know what I would wear on top of it. Probably just a tank top underneath. Um, but I think that this could be something really cute. What I actually plan to do is probably, this is a kimono from Forever 21 that I haven't worn yet. What I would most likely do is put this over it. Um, and then wear a chunky necklace with it. So I'm all about gaudy accessories. That's like a staple of my whole existence. <laughs> so I would wear this. Um, and there's also some lace on the bottom here of the romper. So I like these little details, even when it's just like a plain color, you can get detail in the, um, like the little, uh, textures. So a necklace with this, um, definitely a hat, of course, probably something like this, and then some uh, heeled booties, and that's what I would wear as an outfit. Another thing I definitely plan on doing this spring and summer even is um, this idea of like a cool bohemian um, music festival look. So I plan on wearing some vests. Um, and so of course layering is kind of difficult in spring and summer because it's a lot warmer. Um, but I think that these sleeveless vests are a great way to add some texture um, and some layering and some interest to an outfit without making yourself super hot the whole time that you're wearing it and suffering for fashion even though beauty knows no pain as we all know. Um, but I, I love this shag this this is from forever 21 um online i have never seen this in stores it smells like um an old an old carpet pretty much um but i try to look past that and smell past it it looks awesome with everything i have worn this on my instagram your fuzzy scarf um and i have yet to wear this new fringe vest that i just got um but it is suede it feels so good it smells good, <laughs> thank God. Um, and I think that this adds a lot of visual interest in multiple ways um, with like the laser cut um, uh, design here and then also with the fringe. So I really look forward to putting these over dresses, probably like short, um, even long sleeve dresses. I'd probably like for instance, like wear like a short beige um, dress with this, maybe three quarter sleeves, um, a belt for sure. So I think that belts are like the best way to accessorize too. Um, I'd have like a belt, a necklace, some heels, and a hat. So <laughs> speaking of kimonos, as I just shared with the romper, um, my favorite types of kimonos are ones where they have a big pattern um, and it's something that maybe you'd be like, I don't wanna wear that across my entire body. I'm gonna look crazy, I'm gonna look big. Um, but you wanna put it you know, somewhere to have that visual interest once again, but you have it on your back. So on your back, it's a lot more flattering than if it's across your whole entire body. <laughs> um, so here's some examples of some patterns that I really love to wear. Um, this is a kimono from Shein. Um, it's pretty long. It's not super long. It's not like it goes to your feet or anything, though I do have some of those as well. Um, but it has this gorgeous pattern. Um, and it's something that's very unique. You won't see everywhere. It has a lot of really interesting details on it, like the embroidered trim here. Um, looks fabulous with, again, a solid color dress. Um, so you can dress it up however you'd like or dress it down. Um, it doesn't have to be super fancy every single time with this. It could be super casual too. Um, and then this other kimono, Let's see if I can get on the thing. I actually have not worn this either. I did take a picture with it and then I didn't even post it. Um, so I will be wearing this again soon. But this kimono is a little bit more toned down than the last one, um, but it still has some really interesting visual elements to it. This is from TJ Maxx from, uh, for 1999. Um, it's got these really awesome sleeves. I'm not a big fan of butterflies, but I can definitely do with them here because it's kind of like, it's not like, <sighs> It's not like obnoxious like Mariah Carey butterflies. It's like um, Asian inspired butterflies. So I feel like it's like chiller for some reason. Um, but anyway, you can definitely do a lot with this. In fact, with this one, I would probably still do solid color dress underneath. Um, and obviously you can do like um, cut off shorts and you can do all kinds of cute stuff like tank tops and everything. Um, I just gravitate more towards dresses, which is why I have a whole closet of them. <laughs> um, 
but I'd probably do like a red dress actually underneath this. Let's see if we can find one right now. Um, this is probably not the exact one I would do, but this kind of looks nice as far as giving me idea. So this is a dress from Shein. So if you have this underneath, you belt it, okay? And then you have like a long necklace. That's something that I would so do. Um, it actually gets me like really excited even thinking about it. That's how insane I am. Um, and then the sleeves of this, so obviously this is why I don't think this would be the right one to put under this kimono because it has these gorgeous sleeves on its own. Um, and then it also has that same really fun party feel on the bottom too. This is actually quite a short dress because the sides go up a little bit higher. Um, but to give a quick shout out to Shein, this was like $10 and it is so high quality. Um, I just, I can't even believe, like you'd get this at Nordstrom for like, I don't even know, $180. Okay, so something I'm actually not over yet and I'm gonna tell you right now, I actually do not like play to trends per se. There's sometimes when I just happen to see trends because they're on Pinterest or they're on Instagram and I'm like, oh, that looks really cute. Or obviously I see it in stores or like what websites are touting at the time or whatever. Um, but for the most part, I kind of just gravitate towards what I know looks best on my body um, and what I personally like, what's gonna make me feel happy in the morning when I get dressed. So I know a trend that was happening with, were these like swans and cranes on dresses and kimonos um, and I definitely picked up on that and loved it. Um, I, I even saw people in real life, some of the trendier ladies I know wearing this pattern um, and I loved it. So this is an example of something. They were actually selling this at, uh, I think it was Zara or Zara, Zara for, um, for a lot of money. And I ended up picking this one up from Shein once again. And this was only about $20, which is actually kind of expensive for Shein, but it's still an amazing price. Um, it came with like a little belt and everything matching belt. Um, this is floor length. I have worn this. I've had this since December, which is how I know that it's not like a current trend. Um, but still, if you still like it, why not still wear it? Um, this and then along with this dress, it's also from Shein um, that I belt because it's pretty baggy. So to accentuate the waist, I definitely put a belt around it, but it's got some cranes on here. They're very similar birds. Um, a little different. These are a little bit classier, sophisticated birds. These are a little more like out there, like whatever bitches. Um, <laughs> but I definitely plan on still wearing these because while I was wearing these in December, it was still winter time and I really feel like this bird pattern or like any kind of florals and like nature scenes like that will go really well in the springtime. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about doing sweaters in spring and summer in warmer months. Um, so I live in the South, so obviously it gets very, very warm here and I am an East Coast person from the North. Um, so it definitely took me a little while to acclimate to these warmer temperatures down here. I thought it would get hot in New Jersey. It gets really hot here. It's gone over a hundred um, and I'm not used to that, but I still find a time to wear sweater material in those hotter months. So there's a couple things that I've learned. Um, I think, uh, let me see. All of these items are from Forever 21 that I'm about to show you. I am absolutely an affordable shopper. Um, no designer stuff here. Um, but this is a sweater vest. Um, and this is a great way. So as you can see, it's not like it is like a black. You can get it in a really cool trendy color like a rust or an orange like this. Um, and you can put this over a sleeveless dress. You can put this over a t-shirt dress. You can put this over, again, cut off shorts and a tank top. Um, have a cool necklace. Make it look super bow wear a hat like mine, um, wear like either flip-flops with it, wear sandals, wear wedges, whatever, um, and you can still get away with the sweater material and still be comfortable no matter what month it is, even in the middle of July. Um, another thing that you could do is a sweater t-shirt dress. Um, so Forever 21 is absolutely known for these. This is where it's from. This is a very short dress. It's absolutely fitted. It's very, very flattering. It also has a giant opening here, as you can see. And this was another trend that was going on this past year um, that it's hit or miss with me. So I kind of already feel like it's starting to get a little dated, but it depends in the way that it's done. So with this one, I really feel like it's done in a way where I'm not tired of it yet. And it also could be because I'm loving these stripes because they look so good and so fun in pictures. <laughs> um, so I went to an ice cream parlor here, like an old fashioned ice cream shop in Nashville. And I wore this for some pictures and it was so cute. It was such a pink theme, 50s vibe. Um, and it gives just like a very youthful, fun, playful, summery look despite the fact that it is 
a winter, traditional winter material and sweater. Um, I think also summer nights when it gets cooler, it's kind of nice that you have the short sleeves, but you also have a little bit of a snug, like warm material to cover you in case it does get a little chilly. Or even if you're by the water and you're getting chilly, you have that um, that sweater material to keep you warm. Go. The last thing I wanted to discuss was this Southwestern Mexican feel. Absolutely one of my very favorite things to put into my own wardrobe. Um, and how much more perfect can you get, obviously, for spring and summer? Um, so there's a couple different ways to do it. Obviously, cacti are really popular right now, um, especially in Nashville. By the way, my shirt says, I think it says, Welcome to Nashville. <laughs> it's got like a banjo playing guy on a hot chicken because hot chicken is like the cuisine of the moment here. Um, and so this Mexican Southwestern flair is perfect, um, for spring and summer months. Um, so the cacti, that's what I was talking about, cacti. Um, ladies here love the cacti. So probably the more hipster you are, the more cacti you have in your house. And I have three, so I don't know how hipster that makes me, but it's also on my dresses. Um, so this is also from Shein. This is about $10. Um, I think this is a really cool way to get that Arizona, Mexico vibe. Um, again, you can put a sweater over it, you can put whatever you want over it if you think that this is a little too much, the pattern. Um, I actually do not think it is too much. I wear this dress pretty often actually it is so short um but I really don't care if someone sees my vagina <laughs> no, I'm just kidding I um I just I really don't care I figure like I'm not doing anything that crazy I'm not doing jumping jacks in public if it's short it's short so be it life is short too and my youth is short so while I have legs that can be shown off in a dress like this I will do it um this is the back of it so it's pretty much a low v-neck on the back um but you actually don't see like bra straps or anything so it's a perfect back v-neck and it definitely adds a lot of ventilation um as if it being short already didn't <laughs> um but I tend to wear necklaces with this I am not afraid of this print nor should you be um, any kind of prints like this it's the same thing as wearing a floral except that you're actually doing something a little bit more unique than just a basic floral that's kind of on everything and I am definitely a victim of that um, then another fun way this is another Shein dress um, this is an incredible dress as you can see with the tassels on the fringe um, and the contrasting um, edges here uh, this is a gorgeous fitted dress I know it's sold out on their website but if you find any kind of Aztec prints like this, I highly suggest picking them up. That's another trend where it's kind of like hit or miss for me. There's some ways that they, they do it, like the faded Aztec that I think is very out of style right now. Um, and I'm sorry if you like it. It's just my personal preference is not towards that. Um, but I think there's a lot of other really fun ways to do Aztec print that are still so current and I hope they stay current for a long time to come. Um, and then finally, this is one of my favorite dresses. I wore this in California. Um, this is also from Shein and this was one of their very expensive dresses. This was $36, which is expensive on their site, but it is the heaviest, most well-made dress in my entire closet, including stuff from Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, etc. Um, and it is super fitted um, to the waist portion of it and the um, the chest portion. Um, but it actually, it's, it's really, really nice, especially if you are on a beach, because I wore this near the Pacific Ocean the first time I ever saw the Pacific Ocean. Um, and it was a place where you want to stay warm but you also want to be very cool um, and this hits both both spots because it is a short dress with a nice deep v-neck but at the same time it's a thicker material um, and this is another way to again do that Mexican flair um, where it almost looks like very authentic Mexican but obviously it is certainly not I think it was made in China <laughs> that closet um, I so badly want to do like a shoe collection, but I know I have to say that for another video. Um, I'm going to show you some footage of my other closet quickly um, and then we'll be done. So this is my other closet. It has some shoes. It also has some shoes underneath here as well. Um, but this is the area of which, here, let me show you. So open this door, go in. My husband has the left side. Um, Though, in fact, I bought all of those clothes, too, but they're, <laughs> they're just his size. Um, and this is where I keep all of my sweaters. So I have um, open sweaters here, like jacket sweater sort of things, ponchos, heavy knits. Then it goes into, like, full sweaters that don't have openings on the front. Then it goes into kimonos and ponchos, of which I have 
many <laughs> blouses and then it goes back into some like denim jackets and some velvet jackets back here and even a couple John Mayer sweatshirts <laughs> um, and then I also keep some of my fringe booties here these are all pretty much booties they came from Nordstrom Rack from Francesca's collection um, let's see where else that's pretty much it actually um, oh my gosh I always forget about these these are some of my favorites I don't even know what brand it is, but I think they're Fergie, actually. I love these shoes so much. That's, I mean, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Those have been um, in style for a while to the point where they might be going out of style, like with the, all the fringe and stuff, and that, that's probably why I don't wear them as often as I used to, but they're still in style in my heart because I love them, so I don't really care. Um, and then there's a couple more shoes up there with a couple of bags. Um, and so the ponchos I wear every single day pretty much. I am a huge fan of bat sleeves. I wear uh, sweaters no matter what time of year it is. Um, not saying that I suggest it. I know some people probably get sick from that, um, but I will suffer through the pain because the patterns that you can find on these heavy knit sweaters are just some of my absolute favorite. I am like a pattern whore, so <laughs> I can't get away from it. Also the fact that you know if you've watched any of my videos how much I love sales, and so sales on beautiful winter clothing happen um, usually in spring and summer months. So I buy it, I get it in the mail, and I can't wait months to wear it. I just start wearing it right away, whether it's seasonal, seasonably appropriate or not. Um, so that's pretty much all I wanted to share. I'll definitely be doing like a shoe collection as well. Um, and it is not like million dollar shoes. It's not, you know, um, you know, whoever, Nicholas Kirkwood or anybody like that, but it is, you know, affordable shoes that I think could inspire some people if they're looking to get more shoes for the spring and summer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please, please, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Bye.